for our next news special report. And now we delve into a revelation that will shake the foundations of our understanding of global security. President Trump, in a candid conversation with Sean Hannity, has exposed what he deems is the most formidable threat the world faces today, something that dwarfs all other concerns. This isn't just another piece of political rhetoric. It's a stark warning that could redefine international relations and national security as we know it. But there's more. Amidst these revelations, Trump faces a direct question from Hannity. Will he become a dictator? His response? Well, it's something you need to hear to believe. And as the MAGA movement continues to gain momentum, Trump speaks to its undeniable power. What does this mean for America's future? Stay tuned as this special report not only brings you the startling details, but concludes with a final thought that every American needs to hear. Don't miss it. Now, before we dive deeper into President Trump's revelation, a quick note about something crucial, our health, akin to the health of our nation. Just as excess belly fat threatens our personal well-being, unchecked threats can jeopardize our national security. And that's why, just like many who turn to science-backed solutions for their health, we turn to vigilant leadership to protect our country. And speaking of health, I've been using a remarkable product that promotes reduced fat storage and boosts metabolism. If you're interested in supporting your health, visit TrimWithGary.com to get 51% off this amazing product. It's a deal, much like our report tonight, you don't want to miss. Now, in a revealing interview with Sean Hannity during Fox News Town Hall, President Trump didn't hold back in sharing his perspectives on the most pressing global issues. The focus was nuclear weapons and their alarming potential, a topic that Trump believes outweighs all others, including the much-discussed global warming. According to Trump, nuclear global warming should be the focus rather than global warming. Watch. Even solar, I like solar from a concept standpoint, but it's massively expensive. And we can't allow China to build a factory a week and we do nothing. They build a coal plant and they're obvious about it. And then Biden goes to see them about global warming. The only global warming we should be thinking about and worrying about because it could happen tomorrow is nuclear global warming, not global warming. His words paint a vivid picture of the scale of nuclear threats. He further emphasized, take Hiroshima or Nagasaki and multiply that by 500. Now, this statement alone should be a wake-up call for every world leader and citizen. Take a look. Because we have a problem today. Nuclear weapons is the single biggest problem the world has. And we have people, you know, it used to be 10 years ago, even five years ago, even three years ago, nobody would have thought about nuclear. You couldn't mention the word. Now it's being mentioned at every meeting. Every time you talk, it's being mentioned. The level of power of the nuclear weapons is incredible. Scary. Like, take Hiroshima or take Nagasaki, and you look, and that was many, many decades ago, and multiply that times 500. That's what a big bomb would be today, whether it's Israel or really major countries. Nuclear weapons are the biggest problem we have, and we have a man that can't put two sentences together. We have a man that doesn't know he's alive. Now, Trump's emphasis on nuclear weapons comes at a time when the world's attention has been largely focused on climate change. However, as he pointed out, the destructive power of nuclear weapons is far more imminent and a catastrophic threat. This shift in focus is not just a matter of changing the conversation, it's about addressing what could be an existential crisis for humanity. Now, this assertion by Trump is not just an idle claim, but it's backed by decades of advancements in nuclear technology. The destructive power of nuclear weapons today is unimaginably greater than it was during World War II. And Trump's reference to Hiroshima and Nagasaki serves as a chilling reminder of the devastation they cause and how it pales in comparison to the capabilities of modern nuclear weapons. And the interview took a dramatic turn when Hannity asked Trump, if he would become a dictator. The question, likely stemming from widespread speculation and media portrayals, was met with a response that was classic Trump, a mix of humor and candidness. Expect for day one, except for day one, I want to close the border and I want to drill, drill, drill. That's what he said. Watch. An issue, though, because the media has been focused on this and attacking you yeah. under no circumstances. You are promising America tonight. You would never abuse power as retribution against anybody. Except for day one. Yeah. Except Look, for? He's going crazy. Except for day one. Meaning? I want to close the border and I want to drill. That's drill, not a that's, drill. That's not, oh, no. that's not retribution. 
I got I'm going to be, I'm going to be, you know, he keeps, we love this guy. He says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, 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 other than day one. We're closing the border and we're drilling, drilling, drilling. After that, I'm not a dictator. So that, okay? that, that sounds to me like you're going back to the policies when you were president. That's All right. exactly. This remark, though, lighthearted highlights Trump's unwavering stance on key policy issues like border security and energy independence, central themes of his administration. But as usual, the establishment media took the opportunity to twist Trump's words. CNN, CNBC, and the Associated Press, among others, portrayed this joke as a serious threat, claiming Trump refused to rule out abusing power if reelected. This kind of reporting is not just misleading, it's blatantly biased. It's a clear example of the media's relentless campaign to paint Trump in a negative light, regardless of the context or the facts. In contrast, Trump's agenda, like securing the border and boosting energy production, are in line with strengthening national security and economic stability. These are not the actions of a dictator, but of a leader committed to the nation's well-being. In shifting the focus to the MAGA movement, Trump's confidence in its power is undeniable. He spoke about the unwavering support he receives from his followers, a testament to the movement's enduring influence. The MAGA movement, often underplayed by mainstream media, is a force to be reckoned with, as seen in various political races and policy discussions across the country. And Trump also responded to President Biden's remarks at a recent fundraiser. Biden, in somewhat surprising admission, acknowledged the threat that Trump's candidacy poses to his reelection, saying if Trump wasn't running, I'm not sure I'd be running. Now, this statement, coming from a sitting president, underscores the significant impact Trump continues to have on the political landscape. And further, Trump highlighted the Democrats' strategy, accusing them of funding his Republican rivals and crafting clever talking points. Watch. Joe Biden, I'm sure he mumbled the words as usual. Yeah. He said, he said this, if Trump wasn't running, I'm not sure I'd be running, he said at a campaign event today. Yeah. How, do you, how do you react to that? Well, I think somebody gave him a talking point. They thought that would sound good. You know, I just found out that Democrats are funding Nikki Haley's campaign. I hear that Democrats are contributing to Ron DeSanctis's or Ron DeSanctimonious, to Ron DeSanctis's campaign. And then you hear the talking points. That's the only thing they're good at, cheating on elections and great talking points. They say, we want to run against Trump. They want to run. Well, we did really well in 2016, and we did so much better in 2020. The person they don't want to run against is us. It's us. It's not me. It's us. Because it's a movement the likes of which this country, Sean, has never seen before. At the beginning, no, at we have never seen the likes of what we've all done together. This is me, not me, it's everybody here and millions and millions. I think it's not 75 million people. I think it's 150 million people. It might be more than that. I mean, who doesn't want to see strong borders and a strong military and low taxes and low interest rates and go out and buy a house? Now, it was claimed that Democrats are contributing to the campaigns of Potential Republican candidates like Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis reflects the intricate political maneuvers in play as the 2024 presidential race heats up. This accusation, if true, reveals a deep level of political strategy aimed at influencing the Republican primary, a tactic that could reshape the dynamics of the upcoming election. Now, the narrative spun by the media often contrasts sharply with the realities of Trump's policies and statements. His focus on significant issues like nuclear threats and his straightforward approach to governance and policy often get lost in the media's portrayal of him as a controversial figure. This is a disservice to the public, which deserves more nuanced and accurate representation of political events and figures. As we edge closer to the 2024 election, the stakes couldn't be higher. The United States is at a pivotal moment grappling with internal and external challenges that will shape its future as a global leader. Trump's voice remains influential in this dialogue, whether one agrees with him or not, and his perspectives on the issues like nuclear threats, border security, and energy policy are vital contributions to the national conversation. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe, not just for more insights like these, but to stay informed on issues that matter to the future of our republic. In tonight's report, we've traversed a landscape of critical issues, from the looming shadow of nuclear threats to the dynamics of political power. President Trump's insights remind us of the stark realities we face in a world where security and leadership are paramount. His candid response to Hannity, though met with media distortion, underscores a truth often ignored. Serious leadership is about tackling tough issues head-on, not about 
conforming to media narratives. As the MAGA movement grows, it's a testament to the enduring values and concerns of many Americans who see in Trump a figure unafraid to confront the status quo. The story matters because it's about the future of our republic, the security of our nation, and the preservation of our values. It's a narrative that goes beyond politics. It's about the fabric of our very nation. As Americans, it's crucial that we stay informed, engaged, and ever vigilant. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.